In 1492, Christopher Columbus took 71 days to cross the Atlantic. Today, he would be amazed to see that it only takes six hours to fly from Paris to New York. Air traffic is always getting busier, and it isn't unusual to see one plane land while another takes off. This doesn't simplify the work of the air traffic controllers, who have to avoid mid-air collisions between planes. The power of the jet engines enables planes to take off from smaller and smaller runways. However, because of its weight, the aircraft takes a lot longer to come to a complete standstill. The plane's fuselage is very tapered. The wings are long and equipped with flaps, which when raised or lowered, enable the regulation of the aircraft's speed. The nose of the plane has an aerodynamic shape that facilitates the penetration of the air. As for the tail, it is fitted with a rudder that steers the plane. But who travels by plane? We can find tourists and businessmen. That's why airlines offer different types of tickets that correspond to the traveller's wishes. Thanks to the charter ticket, everyone can go to the other end of the world without spending a fortune. However, the attractive prices offered assume a certain amount of availability on the traveller's part, who will not leave until the plane is full. The price of business class tickets is definitely higher, but it includes a more luxurious onboard service with a large choice of musical and audiovisual programs. Businessmen can also use their laptops to prepare for their meeting before landing in Paris, New York, Tokyo, or London. For daily trips or to go on holiday, the car remains the favorite vehicle, which inevitably causes holdups and traffic jams around large urban centers. Traffic becomes very congested and the risk of accidents happening rises considerably. Look at the drivers as they indicate and pull out to pass into another lane that seems to be moving faster than the one they've just left. Unfortunately, it's not always very effective. In the train, say goodbye to all those traffic problems. No more indicators or pile-ups, we're alone on the rails. Because of this, the train is considered the safest means of transport. It's a lot faster than the car, and when it runs on electricity, it respects the environment more. Passengers can purchase two types of tickets. The second class ticket, the most used, provides a simple seat. A first class ticket allows the passenger to travel in a more luxurious compartment with wider seats. The price of this ticket is therefore higher. After air and land, let's use water to travel. The boat is a means of transport often more expensive and definitely slower than all those other means we have seen up to now. However, the boat is a good way to combine business with pleasure. For who could resist the charms of a cruise down the Nile?